Hey gang, we are at Forest Home Cemetery in Forest Park today, just west side of Chicago. And we're gonna visit the grave of a famous broadcast host, announcer, news, stories, Paul Harvey. Remember the term, good day. <laughs> it's hard for me to imitate, but anyway, he had a certain way. Those of you who go back to the 60s and the 70s, or probably before, I mean, that's when I, yeah, well, I should say the late 70s, early 80s when I used to listen to him, but he goes pretty far back. And we're going to walk to his mausoleum. I believe him and his wife are interred there. And it, there's kind of a, might be a kind of an odd facet to it. Maybe, maybe this is something also for our Intangible Quest channel because there's a paranormal aspect to it. And I'll tell you about it on the way. It's it's right over here, just ahead. And I'll give you a little background first on Paul. He was actually born in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and his father was a policeman. And his father was killed in, on duty, I believe, in 1921 by bandits or robbers. He made radio receivers as a young boy and in high school there was a teacher, a teacher named Isabel Ronan, who was impressed by his voice and it was on her recommendation that he got into radio. He started working at the Tulsa station there, KVOO, 1933. He was 14 years old. He was doing the gopher kind of jobs, running stuff around and Next thing you know, they let him fill in on the air, reading some commercials, and then he started doing some news, and the next thing you know, what's well, it's, the rest is history. The rest is history. He became a big time, well, he became Paul Harvey, if you know who Paul Harvey is. Now, this cemetery, we're on the west end, the west side, it's kind of split in two by a river. This is not as old, and not, I'm going to say it's intriguing, you know, I like these old stones, but back on the other side is where Belle Gunness, we did that story, that's where she is, and there's, there's some others. But another little piece of trivia on Paul Harvey is that he was good buddies with J. Edgar Hoover, FBI, and he would even send J. Edgar Hoover his you know, what, was he, he, what he was preparing to talk about for the day and get approval <laughs> and revisions. Boy, that J. Edgar Hoover, he had, some, he had some reach, didn't he? So, right up there is a very discreet mausoleum. And I say that because there is no name anywhere on here now you may be able to double confirm that this is Paul Harvey and his wife. Find a grave says it is so. It is here. And what's interesting is there are two caskets in the open in this mausoleum. Presumably Paul Harvey and his wife. And it's, you know, it's kind of like unmarked. It's really strange. So let's go to the front and have a look. It doesn't look like anyone has been here. I see, you know, here are some vents. But as I said, when you go inside and look, there's, there's just nothing but two caskets on the floor. So here we are. I'm going to switch over to my cell phone camera right now. Okay, so let's take let's take a look inside here. And there you can see the two Let me zoom out here. You can see the two caskets I was talking about. And they're just sitting on the floor. Very interesting. And I guess you know, one of those is Paul, and one of those is his wife. Let's 
go down here, see if there's any inscriptions on the side. I don't, let me get up here. West Glare, yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't see anything. I'm gonna take a look on this side. Uh, try to get out of the glare here. There we go. I don't know if you can see anything. You know what I can do is I do have a flashlight. Now, one of our viewers emailed me, and this is kind of a side story here, but it does a little of the scary factor is that she said, and I, I, she's gonna remain unnamed. She doesn't want her name shared, but she said, driving by here, uh, I think it's First Avenue, you can, we're right by the road. And she was with her husband and they saw a light in here. And they came, let me focus this. I don't know if there's a name. Well, they came, they came to look and they, they didn't have flashlights or anything, of course. And they said in the seam, which I believe is right up there, there was a thin line of light. Now, I don't know, do we believe her? Do we not? I mean, just telling you what she said, but I think it was, is that the seam? That's the seam there. So a thin band of white light. Seems kind of crazy, but I thought it was fascinating. And what's fascinating is, again, these caskets, they're just sitting here. And if this is Paul Harvey, uh, is that a nameplate there? What is that? Let me focus. Now, maybe in editing we can see Maybe that's just ornamentation. But I think it's really sad then that they are, what's that there? No, just cobwebs. That they are just here unmarked. Why would that be? Why would that be? It just, it, it's perplexing. There's no name up here. There's nothing, so I don't know, guys. Um, anyway, I thought it would, I, I want you know, I really came here because I, I've got a connection to Paul from when I was in college and when I was younger, listening to him, he'd tell those stories. And he had these stories, you know, where he didn't know who it was. And he'd tell about this person growing up. And then it was like, and that person's name was, and somebody famous, so like, oh my gosh. And anyway, he would always end his repertoire series of stories and news with that good day. How about that for an imitation? Love Paul Harvey. So rest in peace. If this is the Harveys, maybe you all can confirm for me and for us if this is the Harveys. And may they rest in peace.